on tutorial one uh, it was called use arrow keys I showed you how to use the up and down left and right arrow keys control uh, an object and it was a ball on the screen now we're going to take that a little bit further and we're going to have that ball controlled by the arrow keys hit a target so we're going to open up that document that we made and to save me some typing I'm going to open up another document that has my action script in it so that when we are ready to use it I'll have it already written okay so this is the program that we already done called tutorial one use arrow keys we're going to make two targets they're going to be on two separate movie clips so there's a movie clip and we'll call this circle that's the first first target I'm going to make called circle underscore movie clip and there it is and in that movie clip I'm going to put a circle a little little circle there it is and I'm going to center that on the stage and that's my first target my second target is going to be a square underscore movie clip and on that we're going to put a square using the square rectangular tool hold it down I get a square and I'm going to center that boom, boom. and now we're going to put these two movie clips on to my scene one remember from the previous tutorial this was this frame one it held my variables so where I want to put these two uh, new movie clips circle and square is each on their own layer and on frame two so new layer I'm going to call it square and I'm going to insert a blank keyframe on frame two and I'm going to take that square and drag it up on my screen and I'm going to give it a name square if we don't name it down here in this little box we can't write any any code on it so that's my square on my screen another layer and that's going to be my circle that's my circle layer and I'm going to put in another blank keyframe on frame 2 for that and bring my circle in and I'm going to bring that in down here Call circle okay so I have now in order to have my program work I gotta write some action code which will do something when I hit these these objects we're going to open up frame 2 of the action script layer and I'm going to paste in the action script. I want something to happen when I hit these these two two objects. Let's go back and make this square one do something. So let's give it a little motion. I have it here on my screen and let's take it and put it way up here in the corner. 25% size, put it way up in the corner. There it is. And let's pick about frame 35 and insert a keyframe. And then take that and move it way down here. Okay, so this is a whole bunch of frames it's called tweening. I go back to here and I'm going to have that make that moving by just clicking on motion tween. And now it moves, see? Okay. And I want to do the same for my circle. I'll pick up about frame 40 on this one and insert my keyframe. 
on my frame one I'll put it here so I have it going starting here and then on my 40th frame I'll have it back down here and I'll tween that by clicking frame one so now there's that that motion okay and let's have it that when it hits the, either of these objects the objects will disappear from the screen okay so let's go back to my put a new layer in this is my circle layer and let's insert a action script layer and right here I want to say that I want a frame here for it to stop on so I'm going to insert a blank keyframe and the action script I'm going to put here is to stop okay that's stop so when this is running this this particular movie clip it'll run to here to here to here and would stop but I want it to keep running so here on this frame right here I'm going to insert a blank keyframe and tell it to go back to frame one go to and play frame one so that should loop and now I'll do the same thing for my my other movie clip my square call this square just to keep track insert an action script uh, my loop frame insert blank keyframe let's call the loop frame I call it that oops cause get rid of that I want to go to and play frame one so it does that loop and here I'm going to have a stop frame insert another blank keyframe and here I want to stop and something I'm going to do that you may not have done before is I'm going to give these labels names frames a name I'm going to call this my stop frame and notice a little flag up in here it's supposed to come up in here when I click that that frame now is called my stop frame okay and let's go to my circle and let's call this frame a stop frame okay so I have two stop frames one in each of these and you can see a little mark there if it was more frames you'd see a little flag so now let's see what I have go back to my scene one check my action code out and see what it says as far as this is the action code here from the previous tutorial and here is my new action code it says if the ball and that's the ball that's going to be con going to be controlled by the up down left right key hit square that's the movie clip square it says this movie clip square if you hit it go to and stop on that frame that we named stop likewise it says if the ball hits this circle go to this movie clip circle and stop and if I look at my scene one and if I have everything working right we should have a there they are going back and forth see they keep repeating themselves but if I while they're going if I happen to hit them boom that one stopped and if I hit this one whoops they hit it they're stopped and you can do all kinds of different things with them you can have it have a little explosion there or something take place do whatever you wish the action script that we've added to this project um, it's too hard to see on the screen so I've typed it below in the message box